Hello again, watch friends. Welcome back. This is an interesting watch. It's a limited edition of 500 pieces and a joint effort by Seiko and Nano Universe. This particular watch is number 18 out of 500. And as you may or may not know, Nano Universe is a fashion boutique store in Japan who regularly partners with other companies to offer products unique to their brand. This collaboration between Nano, the clothing retailer, and Seiko, the watch mega brand, has produced, I don't know, several models over the last couple of years, most of which have received little notice, at least in North America. Such is the case with the SCVE039. So, the Seiko Nano SCVE039 is a really attractive, kind of cool looking watch. So, if we look at some of the specs on this watch, the diameter is 42 millimeters from this side to this side not including the crown. It's got a thickness of 12 and a half millimeters. Not large, but still larger than some. And when you look at the lug to lug distance, which is from the end of the two lugs, from here to here, that is 49 millimeters. By the way, I think that the lug-to-lug -lug distance on a watch, that, that, this, that dimension, is probably the most important dimension of a watch in terms of how it will fit on your wrist. Because uh, it really talks about, it takes into account the shape of the lugs. Are the lugs uh, sticking straight out? Are they curved down? Uh, so that really de determines uh, whether it's going to fit on small, medium, or large wrists. Finally, the strap size is uh, a 20 millimeter strap. So changing straps uh, would be fairly easy uh, to do on this SCVE 039. So the applied numerals are quite large, as you can see, and it's really easy to read uh, these numbers. They're fully loomed, uh, as are the sword hands, the hour hand and minute hand, and it's got a really attractive, really attractive uh, needle style uh, seconds hand. Of course, this watch is an automatic, it's got 23 jewels, and Perhaps the most striking thing about this watch is that the case is all black PVD. And I know some people criticize PVD coated watches. Uh, and there, by the way, there are many brands and models available that have PVD coated watches. But people criticize them as potentially showing more wear since a uh, poorly applied PVD coat can scratch uh, or wear off. I have no long-term experience with this watch in that respect, but uh, and I have not seen any negative comments to the to that effect uh, on this on the, about this watch on various uh, websites and watch forum. There's a date window at six o'clock, and what's nice about that is that it is, doesn't look out of place. It's not odd. And it really is, I think, uh, rather unobtrusive. Uh, black letters, a black number on a white background uh, fits in nicely. And if you weren't looking for it, you might actually, you might actually miss it. Seiko uses their uh, Hardlex crystal to cover the dial. Uh, and one of the neat aspects of this watch is the tinted exhibition case back. It looks cool and is a unique detail that you don't often find on inexpensive watches. So let me pull the strap away a little bit here 
so you can see what the uh, case back looks like there it is and if you look closely it's very difficult to see with this lighting but it is a tinted or smoked case back under which you can see the bloom which is barely in this lighting it's better to see in uh, up close and personal also there's a plastic covering which uh, makes it a little bit more difficult to see it water resistance is a satisfactory hundred meters on this watch so you needn't be afraid to get it wet rain dishes showering uh, should be okay swimming uh, I wouldn't but that's just me uh, and diving definitely not because the uh, does not have a uh, screw down uh, crown so what else so other things to note about this watch is that the strap is a soft uh, NATO uh, soft fabric uh, NATO strap uh, it's not it's not cheesy like on some of the less expensive Seiko watches especially the sub $100 ones this is a, a very substantial uh, strap feels very comfortable on the wrist uh, the buckle is also uh, black PVD and you can see that it says Seiko on the end of it and one of the most talked about features of this watch is the loom uh, the loom is simply incredible uh, I will uh, do a loom shot shortly and you can just see that these numbers um, just pop they just pop right out um, once the once the watch is uh, the dial is fully charged maybe about 30 seconds under a light uh, the loom lasts for hours easily through the night on one charge So let me turn off the lights here and we'll get a check on the loom aspects and you can see that this is an amazing loom watch the numbers just jump out it's easy to see the time with the sword hands really really nice loom and lastly as I mentioned uh, this Seiko Nano really really gets your attention with this all black case and uh, uh, all black it's really an over a little bit of oversized case uh, and it's just a uh, just a cool looking watch the movement is the uh, Seiko 4R35 which hacks and can be hand wound it's visible through the hard hard lex crystal as I mentioned on the back although there really isn't much to look at because it's not finely detailed or or highly finished the 4R35 is a less expensive version of the venerable 6R15 movement which uh, is found in the Saab line of watches and some other uh, Seiko watches but for the price and the use of this watch, I think the 4R35 is, is fine. So I put the Seiko Nano Universe SCVE039 on my time grapher. And as you can see, it's really, really quite amazing for a movement that's as inexpensive as this one is the 4R35 to have such good results. You can see that the uh, it's doing about zero to plus two seconds per day accuracy. It's got a very strong amplitude. Uh, the beat error is only 0.4 and of course it beats at 21,600 beats per hour. So, so very good results um, on the time grapher and as I've said before in other videos and online um, and this is an experience that many Seiko owners have uh, getting a Seiko watch um, 
regardless of the movement, is uh, kind of the luck of the draw because you can get one that's better than Tosk, a uh, Tosk um, specs minus four to plus six, or you can get one that's thirty seconds plus thirty seconds a day. So, so I'm quite impressed with this uh, particular watch. Uh, if I took another exact same watch as this, uh, a different a different piece, put that on a time grapher. Uh, there may be uh, a difference. There probably would be a difference, and it may be a large difference. I don't know. Anyway, uh, very good results for this uh, this watch. Regarding value, well, the. Uh, You really have to evaluate both the intrinsic and extrinsic details when considering the value of something. Intrinsically, the Nano is an inexpensive watch. Uh, however, it is made by Seiko and has a huge, huge uh, coolness factor. Extrinsically, well, what other watches at or about the same price compete with the Seiko? Well, there's Hamilton, and Hamilton has a few or a couple of models that are slightly more expensive. Of course, they also have uh, uh, Swiss-made movements, uh, the inexpensive uh, Etta's. Um, and then, of course, there's micro brands. There might be a few micro brands that are in this price range slightly less. And finally, Casio and Citizen uh, also compete uh, in this price price level. Final thoughts. So uh, these Seiko Nano watches are JDM models, Japanese domestic, domestic market, so they can only be purchased from a Japanese retailer, although there are many online. Current cost for this watch is uh, about $300 to $350, depending on tax, shipping, etc., uh, if you can find one. I believe this was a 2016 model, maybe a 2017 model, I'm not sure which, but um, I'm not sure if these are still available. And since new models are introduced every year or so, uh, that Nano does a, a collaboration, uh, and there are quite a few different versions of the Nano Seiko uh, watch, um, a collector's market has arisen on these Nano pieces. So there it is, the Seiko Nano Universe SCVE039. It's really a nice, slightly rare Seiko piece that is both a great value and uh, would definitely be a conversation piece. By the way, this particular brand new unworn piece is for sale. Contact me if you're interested. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.